Hello guys, welcome back to GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair, where my job is to save you money. <clears throat> this morning I'm working on a 2006, I believe it is. 2006, yes, Honda Odyssey. It is a six cylinder. I believe it's a 3.5 automatic front wheel drive. And the reason it's here with me is because uh, the blower motor is not working for the front air conditioning, okay? So, it's there. And the back blower, the rear mo blower motor is working. You can probably hear it there. You can see it's working, but the front one, oh no, that's, uh, I'm sorry, that is the temperature on this one. That's for the front one. You can see how that change and I was doing nothing all right so on this situation a couple of things can be the the reason one could be the fuse however everything else is working so I will at this moment will rule out the fuse at this moment okay so the off work I put the fan on come on the rear fan it works right away so next thing can be it could be the control yeah but we're gonna leave that for last next thing that we're gonna do here we're gonna go here underneath I believe it's where the blower motor is and we're gonna look at it same time if it's the original blower motor it could be just the age of the vehicle or the part that it just give in give up uh oh let's see here there it is okay so well we're gonna do one thing that oh you know sometimes works sometimes it doesn't we want to tap it if it works then we know it is the blow motor itself see nothing Hmm. All right, then so doesn't look like the blow motor itself is the issue here We're gonna this well, it's not working But it's not because <sighs> The back connection there well those two they're there. I gotta go bring my power pro and then we can test it All right, guys, so I got my power pro here. So you can put power, ground. Now here, we are going to, yes, see if we have power. Yes, you guys can see that we have positive power, 14 volts because the vehicle is running. And here we have this, um, ground is fluctuating, which is sometimes gonna be normal, but here, is full blast so let's see all right so obviously still not working so what we're gonna do here we're gonna test the blow motor itself that's one if you the blow motor if you read ground that that cable is all we have that why always have uh ground constantly watch see so now if the blow motor is open the ain't in the winding is open i should not read nothing here but here i'm reading negative so i'm gonna put power and the blow motor is working so that tell me so far that it's not the blower motor what is the problem. It's going to be the blower motor resistor. So we're gonna have to remove that, inspect it, test it, and, and uh, probably replace it. If the blow, blow motor resistor tests good, then we're gonna have a problem with, with the, um, with the control panel 
the AC control. All right, guys. So I will uh, stop the video and reset the camera so you guys can have a better angle. All right, guys. I'm almost forget. Okay, I don't want to forget this. Okay. This is connected again, the blow motor, I mean, the AC is on, on the controller here. So another way, it's a tip here, okay? We knew that we have power and ground, right? We're, the, the ground was fluctuating a little bit. So, now when you connect this, you should have power and ground, so that way the, uh, the blow motor is gonna work. Now, if you one of the two is weak, okay it's not making a good connection it's weak power and or weak ground we from both connectors is going to have either power or ground because one of those is is missing so okay so right here let's try one that is power and the other one is power as well so that means the ground is bad so let me move the camera here. That's one. That is in the other one. All right, so that means we're missing ground right now. Okay, low motor resistor for the front AC is right here. So you only need either a 516 socket or a Phillips screwdriver so we're gonna use a screwdriver to remove it see if we found any anomalies that we can see okay so we're gonna start with the inside I'm sorry for my hand is on the way but so much is all I can do right all right guys and I forgot to mention if you like the video please hit that like button comment Leave your question down below if you have any questions. And uh, the most important, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. Right, that would really help me out to keep going, taking the time with the videos and edit it as much as I can and trying to do a good job because this YouTube uploading thing, it takes time. I never realized how much time it takes all depend how good your videos you want the videos to be okay so far this one obviously doesn't look nothing bad uh, disconnected the connection itself looks okay ha but look at that right there it's burned right there it's cracking it's burned so i'm gonna call this the problem on this vehicle so we're gonna replace this part and we are going to confirm our fix. All right, so that way we can just uh, call it good. All right, so what we're gonna do here, just as a test, this cable right here, that one is a blue with black. And the one, it goes right here into the blow motor. <sighs> Come on. Is blue with black so that should be the ground okay because to control the speed of the blow motor that's power that's coming from the white and blue the vehicle the computer or the controller is gonna control the ground so that's what's gonna happen now watch this if you are correct I'm gonna put the ground out of my power pro into that blue cable right here which has happened to be this one if I'm doing it right if the cable is good we should have ground right there which is right there all right so then that tell us that this cable right here the wire the connection here it is good it is not damaged it's not the wire here so what we're gonna do to test it here we're gonna grab the blue one, which is this corner right here, and we are gonna put ground. And the blow motor works right there. Okay. 
So right here we're pretty much confirming the cause of the issue. It is this burning component here. You can see it right there hopefully on the video. So by replacing this, we should be able to get this system working, all right? So again, so far, I'm gonna order the part and I will continue the video so you guys can see this repair. All right, guys, I'm back. I got the part. So this is the part number that I'm, and that I'm using here. All right, resistor. Now, again, I am not getting a sponsor or pay or anything by Duralas or any uh, auto zone. I just the part that I'm actually using. So, that's it. All right, so, just big disclaimer there. I'm not a sponsor, nobody. I'm not being sponsored by anybody. Okay, so obviously this is a new part. Very quick, this is a... Uh, the uh, the blow motors connector here I think you guys can see it the connection is here it's installed what I'm gonna do is just a quick uh, test I'm going to connect this right here no but the first thing before I forget I don't know why the other one uh, got damaged could have been just old H you know the age of the vehicle but I'm going to here you can probably see that this terminal is a little bit open, at least to me, it looks like that. So I'm gonna close a little bit those uh, that terminal so that can be a, a, a tight fit because when you have like a loose terminal that can create extra heat and can damage uh, the new par prematurely. So that's what we're gonna do. Just to increase the life of the new part. Anyhow, so there it is. If you see this terminal melted, replace it. Do not reuse it. Other way, this terminal is gonna damage the new part and it's not gonna last as long and you're going to have a cam back. All right, so the new part is there. So we're gonna test it. I'm gonna turn the ignition on and if the blower motor works, we're gonna turn it off right away because this part, this fence, are cooled down with the air of the blow motor. If there's no air, this will overheat and it will stop working. There you go, it's working. You can hear it right there. Okay, great. So let me turn it off. Boom. Okay, right here we have confirm or repair. All right. So we're gonna reinstall it. There's the two bolts that you saw me removing. So, okay. This uh, all goes like this. This pointy part goes towards the driver's side. This flat part goes to the passenger side. Other way won't fit. Or very easy, the clip retainer goes to the top, 12 o'clock. Whatever, make it easy for you to remember, that's great. You know, so we're gonna reinstall this and the customer should be very happy because now they're gonna have AC again. And right now, today, it's around 100, maybe a little bit more than 100 degrees. So they're really gonna be happy. And they're saving a bunch of money. This is great, that's the best part. All right guys, once again, if you like what you see, if you got any any value, you learn anything from this video, please, please, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment, leave your questions out below, and I will do my very best to, to answer, to get back to you, and help you to save money. So that way, you know, if you can do a small troubleshooting like this, that's great. You can save money and fix it yourself. And that's it, man. Or, you know, if you take your vehicle to a repair shop and they tell you, hey, you know, the blow motor resistor is bad, 
you know what they are talking about okay one way or another i hope this video helped you to get a little bit of education and that will be it for this video so don't forget to put everything back this cover those two guys goes first and right there go in and just everything else just a snap in place all right so as usual as i always said thanks for watching do your best forget the bless uh, the rest god bless and i see you in the next video later